Hi everyone, it's Liesl. I'd like to share my May Tsunami Rose Design Team project with you. I used the Life of Bloom Part 2 Traveler's Notebook Kit as well as some postcard and file folder digis. And um, I think we'll start with the actual notebook insert and we'll get to this a little bit later. So I didn't make a closure because I made this to actually go into a traveler's notebook or similar cover. So let me just get rid of all this green ribbon. And on the cover, I really kept it quite plain. I added one of the Tim Holtz book plates, which a friend of mine, Belinda, gave to me. Thank you, Belinda. And I strengthened the spine because I always worry about spines with a bit of black satin ribbon. And the back is ready for some journaling as well. And I just covered it with a bit of Mod Podge to give it some durability. Um, it was printed on 160 GSM paper, so it's relatively soft and um, will squish nicely into a traveler's notebook or similar type of cover. So what you can see here is part two of the Life of Bloom kit has really dark, almost black grungy edges, which I love. So I've never actually made a journal where I used black on the edges and this was a wonderful opportunity for me to really <laughs> channel the dark side with a really pretty and feminine kit so it is a it's a juxtaposition that I really enjoy so going in lots of red tea dyeing as you can see um, one of Daisy's beautiful postcard printables I have some pages that were printed slightly smaller which I I'm using for extra journal space as well as quite a few of my beloved shipping tags which are blank on the back but with lots of beautiful tea dyeing um, sort of texture and grunge going on and as usual there is a lot of journaling space a room for drawing or doodling some pockets I used some um, stamped ephemera, which I also tea dyed and inked up throughout, so you'll see it here and there, and a bit of a border punch. Um, the black is not what I, as I said, not what I usually use. So what I did to make it follow through the whole book is that you can see here, I on the blank pages that are not printed, I actually ink them with the usual vintage photo. And then I took black soot, which isn't too strong as a dark color. And I just very lightly, you can see there, edged over the vintage photo with that, just to pick up a little bit on the dark grunge of the part two printables and here please don't faint is a little bit of lace you know i hardly ever use it <laughs> um an index card which was tea dyed and stamped with one of my favorite stamps a little stamped label oh, this oh my gosh i'm sorry this is the Second time that, I, that I'm videoing this, my parrot was making too much noise in the background the first time I did it. So my some of my labels are not where they should be. This is a big number eight label, uh, or a tag, I'm sorry. And onto it, I put a tea dyed little grease proof bag and um, into the bag goes another tag like so. Just get it in, there we go. And what I did was I cut up some of the pages to give me some extra ephemera images. And obviously when that happens, this is the original dark edge. The rest was not dark at all. And I wanted that uniformity of the dark going all around. So what I did in instances like that was I took some black soot and I inked it with that first. Then I went over it with a bit of... Um, hickory smoke 
Yes, that's the light one. I'm not sure whether I said hickory smoke earlier or black soot. If I said black smoke, I apologize. I meant hickory smoke. Um, I went over the black soot with the hickory smoke so that I got the slight fading of the black. And then I went over that afterwards with some vintage photo just to pick up on the sort of... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place this morning. There we go. Um, to pick up on the tea dyed color. And then I made some little bead dangles with which to just hold these in place. So there it is. Um, a bit of stamped music paper. Another very pretty postcard with a large shipping tag. And another piece of ephemera which was cut from a book page. I really love this background. It, uh, has such a wonderful vintage feel and the tea dyeing on it came out so nicely so once again i went all around with dark um, black soot and hickory smoke some of my one of my last sheets of grid paper beautiful butterflies the packets that i used in here have butterflies on them um, just to tie in with the pages the printables all have butterflies on their pages as well. Another bit of stamped ephemera. This is one of Daisy's file folder printables, which I trimmed down to turn it into a tuck or pocket. And another piece of one of the pages, which was cut down and inked to go into it. Here is an actual file folder such pretty images and it's just wonderfully tea dyed and pops in there this is the center and I didn't turn this into a pocket because if it goes into a traveler's notebook the um, elastic would go through the middle so can't put a pocket there here is um, the center or the, the pocket on the other side of the center with another piece of printed page which was printed slightly smaller and a nice big shipping tag and a little file folder that I made and stamped that is a little very cute little Tim Holtz stamp there it goes. In there. lots of journal space other side of that very pretty you can see very pretty little green butterflies and here is another one of those large shipping tags with the pocket and the tag that pops into it and another little angle which helps to hold it in place so there goes that one What I did with these was I stamped the label and then I just wrapped it around the page. I like that look of a cut-off label on the edge of a page. So just for a little date or a meaningful word. A big shipping tag and another one of Daisy's um, file folders that was cut down to turn it into a tuck. I really like to find ways to use prints that I've made that I'm not using. I wanted only one file folder here and I the page printed more than one. And often once it's with pages that you've printed and end up not using. And um, to find alternative ways in which to use it always makes me very happy. So um, also I can suggest you have a look at uh, a very nice tutorial by April. She's Pink Odd Bird on YouTube and she has um, a very nice recent tutorial on how she uses printed journal pages to actually make tags. So if you are sitting with a little pile of journal pages that you've printed off that you didn't use, please pop over and have a look at her tutorial. It's really useful. index card with another cute Tim Holtz stamp and this is one of my favorite edge stamps I must say they're really pretty 
And it just goes in there. Little blue butterflies, a really beautiful image. So soft and delicate and really a look that I like, the juxtaposition of the sort of dark grungy with the very soft and delicate flowers. So I was in absolute raptures enjoying this paper um, and making this little insert. Another index card with um, a stamp. And that is the end of the little insert. So that's the insert I made. And then I had <laughs> some pages left over that I hadn't used. And I adore this dark wood grained um, printable, which is part of the kit. So what I decided to do was to make a, a pocket insert, which can also go into a traveler's notebook. Another one of Belinda, thank you Belinda, one of the book plates that she gave to me. And again, I reinforced the spine with some satin ribbon. And what I did was I used some Kaiser Craft, Craft cardstock, which I think is about 260 GSM, so it's nice and sturdy. And I used that to just make the folder and two of these concertina, you can see the concertina pockets. Um, I wonder if you can see it on this side. It's there, you can see. Um, which are really easy to make and which I realize I don't use half as often as I should uh, because they really make for a very nice addition to the outside or the inside of your book or journal covers actually. So um, I'm hoping that I'll remember to use them more often and they just flip up and they're is lots of, you can see how it folds open, lots of space to put some things and I also added a bit of extra space at the bottom so that you can actually tuck quite a few things in there and I did the same here, you can see there is a little gusset and if anyone is interested in how I do these please send me a message and I'll make a quick tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's a nice big one and um, that just goes into your traveler's notebook for all kinds of little bits that you are worried might fall out or um, that you feel particularly precious about. So this is my design team project for, June, um, for May. I'm terribly sorry it somehow fell through the cracks and I'm a little bit late with posting this um, but I hope that you enjoyed it and as always thanks for watching and until we speak again. Bye!